This is Outdated, and welcome to episode 13 of Let's Play World War Z. This one is entitled, War of the Survivors. So, we've spent the first 12 episodes looking at the 12 co-op or single-player missions of World War Z, including the last one, which was an add-on later after the game was actually released. Well, this time we're going to explore multiplayer. So there are modes in multiplayer, and there are several classes, and they are not the same classes as in the traditional game. I've chosen Warfighter, uh, mostly because it starts with actual frag grenades, and it has a assault carbine, which is one of my favorite weapons. And now this is my first time trying to get into a game, and so I just tried to find a match, and you saw it kicked me back out. So now I'm trying to find a match again. So now at this time, I was actually um, uploading some clips and stuff. See, it, it did it again. I was uploading some clips and things like that. And so I think my, uh, my internet may have been overtaxed to play multiplayer at this time. Um, this is the struggles we have when we live in a community with pretty slow internet or, you know, very rural part of America, which, while we're talking about it, brings me to the whole topic of streaming games. You know, Project X Cloud, Google Stadia, the clearly not very effective PlayStation Now, which is the only one that's really out there, and it has not been very successful. For places like where I live, which is a very large portion, if not the majority of people in the U.S. at least, it's simply not an option. The internet speed is just not high enough. We don't have, like, major businesses that would be an impetus for people to get blazingly fast speeds and keep those prices for those speeds low. So I just, you know, I think that <clears throat> streaming is, to be completely honest, a bit of a pipe dream. I don't think we're quite there yet. <clears throat> I hope one day we are. I mean, I think if you want to stream something turn-based, then you're probably okay. You know, you'll probably be fine with a game that, like a old, old school Final Fantasy JRPG where the combat and all that's turn-based, you may be all right. But something like a <clears throat> competitive shooter, there's no, we're not, we're not there. Something like Dark Souls or Bloodborne or something that requires, you know, frame perfect timing, no, definitely not there. So I think we'll get there one day. I mean, if there's two companies that can pull it off, <clears throat> it is Microsoft who basically owns every network in the world since they generally run off their stuff or Google those two have the financial and technical prowess to pull it off Sony has demonstrated in the last several years it simply does not which is why Sony recently signed the deal with Microsoft to help them with their cloud stuff because they can't do it that that's not their thing they're too busy you know making DVD and Blu-ray players which is more what they're known for than even their console honestly so you know, smart, smart. Those two have the best chance. Even that said, I still don't think it's going to work. Not anytime soon. I think we've got a few years left. And so I've still been trying to get this to work. And this whole time, we're almost, well, we're about four minutes in. And we're still trying to get this crazy thing to boot up a match. These are clips from separate moments where I played, honestly. I think this one might work. Maybe we'll get lucky. But um, this is from several different instances of play, and I've gone back and played, like, single player. And I think we might actually be going in. Okay, so we're on Vaccine Hunt. So the General State Mall, so it basically it's a map from the Russian campaign, but it's probably been modified to make it a good multiplayer map. And we're looking for the vaccine, and the longer you have it, I think the more points you get. And if you die, you drop the vaccine, that sort of thing. So let's see how this thing runs. <clears throat> And it being a third-person game, I'm interested to see how the play is, how it feels, and what role zombies play. Honestly, that's kind of important. Oh, here we go. There's the vaccine. All right, you get it. Your that's fine. Your team has the vaccine. Your team has the Oh crap! The I'm getting hit. And I died. 
Took them out too, but I died. Alright, the respawn time's pretty quick. Oh. But they died too, and I think I might have got... Oh crap, zombies. Well, at least we know they're in the game. Come to me, zombie horde of freaks. And they're over there. Oh, they're coming. Oh, that was one of their players. He got zombified and gross. Your team has the vaccine. Okay, so you get points for killing zombies too. But your main goal is to defeat the other team. Die, darn it. Fresh ammo coming up. Critical noise level. So the louder you are, the more likely you'll call in another swarm of zombies. That's interesting. That's a nice twist. Incoming swarm. Oh, here they come. Your team has the up, and they got shot in the back by me. Oh, dude, I'm right here. So I see when you pick up uh, satchels, like for grenades or whatever, you don't just get a grenade, you build up a meter, and when the meter reaches a certain point, then you have one. We are winning 44 to nothing. Go us. Let's see, where are they? There's our satchel person. Swarm eliminated. Heavy weapon ready. So that seems to build up over time or based on kills. Or both. Oh, well, that was useless. Vaccine lost. No! Damn it! We lost the vaccine. And my character has a potty mouth. Then again, if one has played this game, you would know that. All of them have body mounts. Alright, we're down in the garage. I like that the whole entirety of this level is pretty much part of this. Like, all the main areas. Oh, there's the vaccine with the other team. Oh, they're coming this way. There's one upstairs. Alright. Oh, they've already dropped back outside. Trying to find the rest of their team, I bet. Oh, good, they're down. Reloading. Grab it, people. Got it. Took you out. Yeah. Tap one of them again. Took them out. Uh, I took out two for my one, but they've got the vaccine. They're picking up points. 79 to 28. Your team has the vaccine. And the lead. Fresh ammo crap. Coming up. Grenade inbound. Oh, crap. Yeah, take that. Zombies are in the bar. What, are they like getting an adult beverage? Be a, oh crap, right in my face. Yeah, I'm bad. Team has the Every time I make a video, that dog somehow ends up outside, even though it was just outside five minutes ago. Does it have, like, its own personal teleporter or something? All right, here we go. Oh, that's them. Crap, I'm in trouble. The reload, I should have just switched weapons. I would have been better. They stop. Enemy team has the vaccine. Okay, here we go. Uh, 118 to 40. We're still winning with five minutes left. I have to say, I didn't know what to expect from this multiplayer. So far, I'm enjoying it. And this round is running reasonably smoothly. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Got that one. Where is it? There it is. Oh, we need to grab this thing. Got it, and then we died. Nice. All right, 118 to 54. We're still winning. Four minutes and 45 seconds left. Let's go. We know they're over here. All right, it spawns in, and I will take that. Thank you. 
Your team has the vaccine. Yep, and I sure do. Well, that's right. I've got some points. There they are. Oh crap! I can't get a shot in. Well, that's one of my people. Okay. Your right. team is Protect winning. me. I'm holding on to the vaccine, guys. Oh, they're coming from over there. Nice. Where's the grenade? Oh crap! There they are. Come on, get back here, get back here. There we go. Using a heavy weapon, maybe that'll teach them. I thought I saw somebody. There they are. Swarm. Zombies are in the mall. Oh wait, I'm in the mall. Crap! Uh, those are zombies. Oh my god. Well, at least we know that this will have a serious impact on the game. I'm in trouble. I'm down. We're winning 173 to 54. Vaccine removed, which means it will respawn in a minute. Hi. Grenade Surprise. Enemy grenade. There it is. Ow. Where'd they come from? Okay, now I just respawned in and the wave ended. 173 to 54 with about three minutes left. Let's do this. I think we're trying to get to 200. Yeah, I guess I should grab that. Sure does. This feels like a game of keep away. I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. That's kind of unique that, you know, when I have it, I just need to hold on to it. It's not, it's kind of like King of the Hill, but a King of the Hill, the, but you hold the hill. Oh, crap. Dang it, Kimiko, you shot me in the face. Okay, 193 to 58. We are very close. We can win this. And this has run pretty well, actually. The, this game has run smoothly. Your team has the After the issues with not being able to log on, I'm not uploading anything now. The network's clear, so crap came up from behind. But we have earned victory. 200 to 65. Good game. Had 37 zombie kills. 835 was my score. Overall, though, I have to say that was pretty fun for a game I did not... I don't really think of this as a multiplayer kind of thing, but I think that it... Not counting the co-op, obviously. I think that was really fun. So I'm going to, you know, play a few more. Oh, and you can level up these classes, too. Because we got victory, we're going to get 1,000 XP. Yeah, I've gone into level 2 because i got a little bit more. Less frag lag, so my frag grenades will blow up faster. Alright. Because I drop out of matchmaking there. Overall, I have to say, I enjoyed that. Let's go in and see if we can... Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use some of those XP to customize my um, classes. That's what I'm trying to unlock is the achievement for getting every perk in the game. And to do that, I'm going to have to upgrade all six classes, which will take, or eight classes, how many there are. It'll take a while. Okay. So we're going to try to find a match. That one was a va vaccine hunt. So I just did a quick match thing. So let's see what we can find and what it'll be. So, so far, the single player was really good with, you know, some obvious bugs and glitches for a double A game. The um, multiplayer, at least when I got it to connect, which that may have been on me. I'm going to wait and reserve judgment on that. But when it did work, it was fun. It was, it was I mean, definitely worth the $40 even without the multiplayer. But if the multiplayer works and it's fun. Okay, we're just waiting on this. To populate, I think I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit here. There, I've jumped ahead. It looks like it's broke us up into two teams of two. More players will probably pop in. I'll continue to use him, and I will continue to beat a warfighter. I like the assault carbine as a weapon in general.
very ominous countdown. Okay, here we go. What game mode is this? Swarm Deathmatch. Okay. So my guess that it's a game of deathmatch, like the traditional deathmatch, you know. We have a team, they have a team, each kill gives us a point or whatever, or, or lo loses them or respawn when they're out there dead, something to that effect. But swarm probably implies that the zombies show up on occasion to just screw with everybody. So let's see how this plays out. And we are in a retooling of one of the Jerusalem levels, actually. Which is cool, because it was a really... I mean, I think a lot of the levels here you know, are well-designed. They look pretty good. Looks like that's what we're going to be dealing with now. Oh, here we go. We're in. It is scoreless, and the match is 10 minutes. It is dark, too. I wonder if it's always dark, or if it changes based on... Oh, there's somebody. You got him. Oh, crap, and they got me. There were two on one. That's just not cool. But it is to be expected. Heavy weapon taken. Yeah, there's some of them. God damn it! Watch your heads! Yeah, I'll take out some zombies. That's fine. Fresh ammo coming up. Crap, one of my people got turned into a zombie. over here you know I can't help but wonder did they make the single-player campaign and then oh crap oh man they were hiding well too um did they make the single-player campaign and then make adaptations to the maps to make the multiplayer or was it the other way around I'm betting that it's single-player first because you know the there's some areas I don't think are gonna be on these maps like long hallways connecting different things. I don't know, it could have actually gone either way now that I think about it. Critical noise level, or where are they? There's one. Grenade in there. Reloading. Okay, there's one. Got a kill. God damn it, watch it. Incoming swarm. Another kill. Here comes the swarm. Oh, Lord. Gotta love the swarms in this game. I mean, they are very reminiscent of Left 4 Dead. Coming up right behind us. Got you, but you got me too. That was a, that was a trade. I think that only it was a trade because I headshotted him at the end. There, there's the zombie swarm. Do I want to even mess with him? I'm trying to largely ignore them, but they're not ignoring me, so... dead and if the zombies kill you that looks like it gives your team the enemy team a point too I think we got so the, I think the best option when this happens whenever a swarm comes in is to protect yourself from the zombies as much as possible crap oh man that was terrible on my part uh, we're not far from where we were a minute ago Go. Heavy weapon taken. Ah, uh, we traded. Thirteen to six. They're beating us pretty handily right now, but it's very early. Seven minutes left. Oh man, I thought I had that one, but all right. Good exchange. Make our way through here. I'm gonna try to circle around back. Hmm. Trying to get used to the map, honestly. This one. Got him. Yes. Fresh ammo coming up. Thought they were gonna get away. Oh crap! Oh man, I didn't have a chance there. Let's do this. Oh boy. Uh, okay, I'm not sure. They must have got me right at the last minute, but... Okay, I had to get to another club. Same match. 
They're winning 21 to 8. We got 5 minutes and 45 seconds left. Or so. You know, give or take. We seem to be safe from zombies here. But not from them. Gotcha. Oh man, and they're hitting by getting hit by zombies too. But they still took me out, and looks like I took out another one of my, the players on my team. I don't think the zombies are a major threat. I think that if you, you're caught unaware, though, a crowd of them will take you down and give your uh, enemy team a point. Of which, speaking of the enemy team, twenty-five to nine, they are killing us right now. Heavy weapon taken. Picking up all these grenade things. Maybe I can actually use one on something. Oh, Claymore. Oh, what is that? Oh, there's somebody. Oh, crap. Yeah, my aim was terrible. Okay, here we go. Somebody behind me. There they are. Get ready for the boom! Oh, man. And my dog's back being a pest again. Okay. 28 to 10. I don't think we're going to win this one. Let's just be honest. I do not think we're going to win this one. Now, for those interested in achievements or trophies, um, I think playing 25 multiplayer matches gets you a achievement or trophy. Also, deploying a satchel 10 times... Uh, like um which certain classes can do and i don't know if that's just multiplayer or if that's co-op single player as well um but that that gets you an achievement as well now um i think the achievement oh crap crap, 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 crap crap that didn't go well i think the achievement for the uh satchel has to be that another player on the team actually gets stuff out of it and i noticed that the ai generally does not do that the AI doesn't do anything that would make sense most of the time, except shoot. And in that regard, it's not bad. Okay, 34 to 13. Masking gas. Oh, boy. One thing to be aware of with masking gas. It can really slow the processing down. If I have a complaint about how this thing is set up... Okay, I'll stay right here. See if this is a good spot. Got him. Nice. Match ends in three minutes. Heavy weapon taken. Three minutes and we. God, oh, took out two for my one, but. Whew. 36 to 16. Yeah, I got you for killing my, my peep. My partner. Oh, crap. Yeah, I didn't do well there. So I see, whenever you are, you don't have to pick up the satchel, for the frag grenade satchel or whatever. You just have to walk over it. And if you're the one to walk over it, you get the points added to your thing. Hey, I was helpful. Basically, I think it means I got a certain number of assists or got an assist or something. All right, let's see. 41 to 18, they should have this game wrapped up. I just want to get my XP from this thing. I want to keep trying to get as many kills as I can, though. Because this is deathmatch. I just kind of... Oh, crap. That's not one of mine. That's one thing. You can't tell what team they're on unless you see their health bar. So if they're just standing right next to you, you might not realize they're not yours. Okay, I'm not uh, not good at the, at the strafing. Not like I was back in the day. And at least not with this game because the, the sensitivity of the controls is different than, say, like a Halo or whatever where... Strafing is different, arguably slightly easier. Not that's not a dig. I mean, you know, I'm getting my butt handed to it. That's on me. I'm just saying that that's definitely something you have to factor into some games is how much strafing. Like uh, gears is really slow with its strafing, but a little bit can accomplish a lot depending on what weapon the enemy is using. If they're using a shotgun or something like that, it a little bit probably won't help very much. If they are, on the other hand, are using a Na uh, I mean a Lancer or something, then it really matters. Oh, it's almost over. 49 to 21, they're one kill away, and they're 52 seconds away from winning anyway. 
This thing's done either way, and we're out. 50 to 21, they won. Okay. In that time, I was the best player on my team. I had 10 kills and 20 deaths, which means our team was terrible. And I killed 25 zombies. 21 of them, 10 of them were my kills. That, that, yeah, that game was not the most competitive, but it was still a fun game. I enjoyed it. It was fun to play. Okay, so I think we're going to squeak in one more match. Let's go ahead and level up Warfighter. I made it to level 3, fire in the hole. Alright, so we'll see if we can squeak in one more. I'm going to go in as a Warfighter. What map are we on this time? Uh, Jerusalem, but a different map. I think this would have been from the... Well, I think it's from the same chapter, just a different part in it. Like a different section of the chapter. But either way, Swarm Deathmatch again. So it's basically Deathmatch, but zombies show up and they can mess... You know, like if they kill you, your, the enemy team gets to the point for your death, and vice versa. So let's see if this game is in the middle of being played, which I think it is. I can hear shots in the background. So I don't know how long this one's going to run. Let's find out. Here we go. Yep, it's already 39 to 31. Okay, I like this map already. I like its architectural design. Let's just help by shooting some zombies. Had some issues with hit detection there. One thing I kind of like is seeing the kid. Oh, crud. Nice move by that person. Um, I like the fact that it's you, you, know, you pick what character you want to be from any of the campaigns. Whoa, we've got a little bit of jumpy lagginess there. Let's see if that gets worse. Because that can have a serious impact on gameplay. But I like their show from the um, Tokyo campaign. No! And I'm using a guy from the Damn New York it! campaign. Just check out up here. Right, he just spawned in. So we're all up here with nothing to see, basically. There's one. Ah, oh, that nice one. I got one and they got me. And already we win. Yay! I contributed. I got a kill. <laughs> Let's see. I got one kill and two deaths. Not the best percentages, but I was only in the game for a little bit. Okay, so let's see if we can squeak in one more. And then we'll call it a day. Or even a part one if I, you know, like this, drop in part way through. And here we go. Here, 29 to 9. It's a completely new match. This is Swarm Death Match as well. This will be it for this episode, I think. I know I saw them through that window. I'll try to stay with my teammate. Oh, they just died. Just circle around this way. Gotcha. If I can get a kill, even if I trade out, it... Kingslayer, I must have taken out the number one player at the time. Oh crap, a swarm's probably coming. Trying to use this to my advantage. Fresh ammo coming up. Ow! Enemy team is winning. That hurt. 34 to 13, they are winning. But yeah, you can see when they were moving around. We've got some lag. A little bit of lag there, because there were a lot of frame drops. They, they were like come. teleporting six inches at a time instead of actually walking. Zombies are on the streets, so I'm going to not be. But I am going to try to pressure the other team. So I think that's key, is pressure the other team while the zombies are there to, like, just gang up. Well, at least I got some zombie XP from that. Oh, crap, somebody just shot me. So I love how the zombies sometimes just pass through. Now, I do know there's some game modes where, like, you're capturing a zone or whatever, like, capture the flag, and the zombies will always swarm... Like, or it's like King of the Hill, and the zombies will always swarm the hill. You know, so if you have control of it, you're going to have a problem. All right, here we go. We're getting beat pretty bad here. All right, let's see. Anybody out there? 
Match ends in three minutes. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Heavy weapon taken. There's somebody. All right, from a distance, this gun is not super great because of its recoil, which it should have. That would have been like a sniper opportunity there, not this thing. There's one of them over here on the other side of this. Where are they? There they are. Crap. Oh crap, did you see that lag? There goes the lag again. Yeah, we've got some there. You see it? That that's the lag. There, there we go. That that's a problem. That and because I am not doing anything on my network right now to cause said lag. It is intermittent, but when it happens, it you know really messes stuff up. And that is not an excuse for losing the game. We'd have been losing the game based on the score anyway. Um, that's lag on my end. Other players on the team may not even have that lag. Their team may or may not have that lag. There's no way to know for sure where it's coming from. Uh, but nonetheless, the lag is a concern that has to be watched. All right, here we go. Zombies are in the bar. 48 to 18, we're getting slaughtered. Hopefully the zombies will like take down some of the other team. Uh oh, 49 to 19, we're in trouble. Heavy weapon spawn imminent. I'm just gonna get some XP from killing zombies and call it a day. Oh, you can even see the lot lag with the zombies, but the game is over, and we lost there, 50 to 20. But hey, I'll take the XP. Thanks. Two kills, 10 deaths. Oh well. Well, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of World Let's Wa Play World War Z and this series. As of now, I am finished with this series. Um, if they release more single-player content, or if I feel like revisiting multiplayer because they add some stuff, I may revisit it for more episodes. But for now. We're stopping at episode 13. So I hope you enjoyed it. I do plan to do a Let's Play Left 4 Dead at some point. So, well, you know, compare and contrast. I, of course, I also have Let's Play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, which I'm nearing the end of the game on that if you want to check that out. Of course, my show Beta Test, where I, you know, talk about the different betas and tech tests I play and give you some gameplay footage and see what's going on for those. The ones I don't have to sign it on to disclosure agreement for, of course. Um, I also have... Um, uh, yeah, there's I do a few, couple more shows here and there. So I uh, hope you will check those out. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.